you know, it says, Jesus said, count the cost. We had a friend just back in those there's days. There's a cost to it today, more so. I won't yeah. tell you his last name. His first name was Richie. Richie yes, Benjamin. yes. And he, he worked for... I, I, was a in, in New York City. He was a courier for in New York City. Mm. And he has an, uh, had an amazing testimony when he got saved because he got saved and changed his life. His children got saved and his wife got saved. His mother got saved. One of the things that happened, though, was that immediately he ran into a problem at work mm -hmm. because the other people who were doing that same job, I shouldn't have mentioned the company, were cheating on their expense accounts because they had, you know, as they traveled, they got reimbursed for all of their expenses. When he got saved. When he got saved, all of a sudden his expense accounts changed. They weren't quite as high as they used to be. They were definitely not as high as they used to be. And he was, you know, what happened was his co-employees, co-workers confronted him and said, you know, you're, you're making us look bad. This is going to show that there's something wrong. He said, well, I'm, he, you know, he stood up and, and said. He said, I can't cheat him. No, so, you know, the funny thing is, I don't know, because I can't recall, this is going back quite a number of mm -hmm. years, uh, how he came to leave there, but he left to go into the ministry full time. <laughs> but I want to tell you, when he was there, he, he had a ministry. Yes, he was ministry. Mark said, you know, what, whatsoever you do, do is unto the Lord. Okay? You put your hand to it. Yeah. So if you're doing your work as unto the Lord, if you go into your business and you're doing, and you don't have to stand there and hand out flyers. Yeah. You don't have to get up on your desk and start shouting the gospel. But if you are operating faithful to the Lord, doing everything that you do as unto the Lord, the fruit of the Holy Spirit will be evident in your life. And you want to know something? That's what people in the world are desperate for. They are desperate for love. They are desperate for joy. They are desperate for peace. They have absolutely no patience. Mm -hmm. I mean, they don't, they lack. I'm not going to go through the whole list, but you know the fruit of the Holy Spirit. When people see the fruit of the Holy Spirit in you, you're not going to have to knock on their heads. They're going to be coming knocking on your door. Wondering why you're different. Mm -hmm. um, if you're not in full-time ministry, then you're a part-time Christian. Mm -hmm. That's right. Somebody sent me a, a video today. I don't know if you had seen this. Yeah, yeah. And it was a picture of a guy, apparently. I mean, they just showed he was in a mall in Texas. And apparently he and somebody who was with him shared the gospel with somebody. And the security guard in the mall came over and said, you have to stop doing that. Mm. And he said, I'm not going to, he's not going to stop doing that. I'm just, all I'm doing is having a conversation with people. So they, the whole video was about this guard who says he's a good Christian now mm -hmm. is saying, you can't do that. You have to get out of here. We're going to have, we're going to have to call the police. He's going on and on and on. And he says, well, and at one point he says, well, you know, you're just a radical. He says, I'm a good Christian, but I'm not a radical Christian. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. You better be a radical Christian. <laughs> You better be a radical Christian. Your life should be consumed by the Lord God Almighty, by the love of Jesus Christ, Amen. by the Holy Spirit that indwells you. Are you willing to pay the price to follow Jesus? I've said this to you a number of times. If you are working for the Lord, regardless of where you are or what task you're doing, mm -hmm. you can't get fired. That's right. You can only get transferred. Mm -hmm. Because you're still going to be working for the same one. Right? You may have to move from the place you're working and go to another boss place. doesn't change. But the, the boss president doesn't of the company is middle management. <laughs> so, but we have to get to that place. Radical, by the way, comes, it's from the root. Right? That's what, like a radish is from, it's a root. We need to get back to the root of our faith. And the root of our faith is, ex is shown in Jesus Christ and his teaching. Go read the Sermon on the Mount. You will not find a radical, a more radical teaching than that anywhere. And you know what? That was about how you live your life seven days a week That's out right. in the world. Do not exchange the eternal weight of glory, which is produced by momentary light affliction, as the Apostle Paul wrote, for the passing pleasures of sin that are offered by Egypt, the world, and the God of this world, Satan, to steal that eternal life from you. 